If you have a table that spans multiple pages, you probably want to repeat a row or two of that table as a heading on each page. In this quick tip, I show you the easy way to set up those repeating rows. Most tables have some sort of heading which indicates what is in each column of the table. For instance, you can see a table on the screen here. This page is set up in landscape format or landscape orientation. And you can see that there's a single row that shows the content of each column in this table. Now a heading of this type can be a row or two and you typically apply some sort of special formatting to the heading like you can see that there's some shading on this heading here. If you scroll down in this document, we can see that it's long enough that it extends to a second page. And if I put some additional text up here of some sort, it's going to push it down to that second page quite, uh, quite a bit. It would be nice when it goes to the second page if the heading row was repeated at the top of the second page. Well, this is quite easy to do. All we've got to do is go back up to the top of this table. Now I'm going to select that heading row right there. I've selected the entire row. Now I'm going to jump over to the layout tab of the ribbon. That's the one that's uh, visible when we have something within that table selected. Notice over here in the data group, that there is a tool that says repeat header rows. I'm going to go ahead and select that option. And now we've designated within Word that we want that selected row repeated on each page that this table appears. In fact, if we scroll down to the second page, you can see that sure enough, that header row is repeated. And if our position within the document changes, for instance, if I push it down a little bit further, on that second page, that header row will always appear at the top of the rows that appear on that second page. That's it. That's how easy it is to specify the header rows that you want to appear at the top of each page on which a particular table appears. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, please click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way you'll be informed whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.